Hello everybody, welcome back again. I'm glad you're here. I got something I want to show you today. This is a bead haul that I picked up yesterday and I want to show you what I got and then we're going to make something with them. Um, okay, so these are little ceramic chicken beads. <laughs> is that the cutest thing in the world? I said, man, I could make something. I have a journal that I've made that's um, like a farmhouse theme, and this would make the cutest part of a tassel to go on that. Um, I also found these uh, black and white like lamp work beads. I just love those. They're glass. I love glass beads. I went into Joann's and they had a sale and I didn't need any of it, but I'm weak. What can I say? <laughs> I love stuff like this. Seahorses. Oh, I love these to use with my um, beaded dangles and such. I bought these before and I really, really loved them. So I got some more of those. And look at the little puppy dogs. I mean, is that, I think that is so cute. Look at that. It's the dog head and then a crystal for his neck and then the body. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then, of course, I got some more daisy spacers. I use a lot of daisies. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Will that make some gorgeous tassel tops? All right, let's see what else did I get. This, I think this is absolutely stunning. I hope you can see. Let me adjust that light. I hope that's better. Turn my light up a little bit brighter. Look at this. Look at the crystals. Oh, you know I'm weak when it comes to crystals. And look at all these gorgeous, gorgeous beads. So, and look at this. This looks like little ceramic teapots. Um, And I have teapot beads. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can make that work and turn that into a little teapot. There's some more of those great crystals. Here's these crystals in this color, different colors. And then I got some rose gold um, daisy spacers. And look at this. This is a whole big chunk of shells. Isn't that so cool? And there's a bunch of them in there for a beach themed journal. So let's make something. Okay, so see these little teapots that I have made here. Um, I took some beads and I bought these teapot toppers and the little bottom stands. And it just makes the cutest little teapot charm. I just think they are so, so cute. So I don't know if these will work, but I would like to try. Now these are my teapot toppers and bottoms. And there's some more in here. I think those are a little bit different. And these are a little bit different. So when I found these online, I went gaga and had to buy all of that. And I tell you, I've had them for a while. And I have used a lot of them, but I honestly don't remember where I got them from. But I bet you could find it online somewhere, maybe Amazon or something. Okay, so I don't know if this will work or not. But when I saw that, I just thought, oh, that just looks like a little ceramic teapot bead. So I was going to try and just see if I can make it work. So what I have to do is find a bottom. Look at there. That one right there would fit it. I do believe it will. Oh, that's going to be so darn cute. Oh, let's see. And then we have to have a lid. Where's the lid? Let's see, maybe this. That could be our lid, maybe. Let's see, have I used one of these before? No, I don't think I've used that particular style. All right, so let's get a head pin. Okay, so in order to put these together, you need a head pin. Head pin that has the flat end on the, the little um, jewelry finding piece. All right, so sometimes the holes in the bottom of the pot are too big. That one's not. That one seems to be okay. And then we would put that on and we'll put this on the top and see if we like it or not. I hope you can see that. All right, so what I see is happening is this bead right here, the hole is so big. We're going to have to fill that up so that it doesn't wiggle around like that. So we're going to fill that up with a bead that kind of fits the size of that hole. Kind of a big one. 
Okay, I think this will work. So I've got these two little pearls. It doesn't matter what you use because they're not going to show anyway. So I've got my teapot bottom, and I'm going to put on a pearl and put on a pearl, and then my teapot pot. See if that, do I like that? Yeah, but you know, I think I can get one more in there. Let me find one more about that same size to fill that gap. All right, now, and since the lid is kind of domed, it doesn't matter if that one sticks up above. <laughs> Is that so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Okay, and I like to put on the very top of my teapots um, a little crystal or something. And that has to be the teeny tiniest crystal in my stash. And it might still be too big. Hmm. Kind of looks like a little handle that you would pick it up with. So I'm going to say that works. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little round nose, needle nose, and I bent it over. I've done these tutor tutorials before, so you guys probably already know how to do this. I bend it back, and this is kind of a soft head pin, so I'm able to just do it with my fingers. Sometimes I have to actually get a wire to do that. All right, let's see. We're going to snip. And this is not the right cutters, but they will work. And then I'm going to push that little piece down. Careful not to crush my crystal. I've done that before and had to take it apart. Ah, you see that right there? I was helping my husband earlier outside. and I got black on me, some grease off his car. Look how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I am loving teapots, y'all. <laughs> Okay, let's see if any of the other style teapots would fit it. Now, this teapot has a big top. That's the top of that teapot. So, what if I set one? At, look at there. Oh, my gosh. It just looks like it's made for it. Of course, I need to get that bead right side up. It does have a flower pattern. All right, and then you could just choose a bottom. Let's see what bottom we want for that one. Maybe this little guy, it's kind of like a pedestal. Let's see if I like him on there. Uh, well, yeah, I kind of do, but hmm, do I like it that much? What if I put that on the bottom? Ah, that's better for this particular, because the, the top is so big. I don't want the bottom to be ridiculously small. Okay, now we'll have to get some more pearls or whatever bead you're using. Like I said, it doesn't have to be pearls, but I have an abundance of pearls, so I was just going to use what I have and fill up that hole, that gap. And then now this one, this one may not take three on the top. Let's look and see. may have to stop at two. It'll work. Look a look a look. Oh, that is so so cute. Okay, let's find something else to put on the top of this one so it's different from that one. Okay, so for this one, I chose a little tiny silver ball. Very, very tiny. And I am gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold that over at an angle. I'm gonna bring it back toward me. And it goes crooked. I didn't want it to go crooked. All right, this one's a different kind of a head pin, and it has a little more weight to it, but it's still very doable. All right, so we are going to, I like to wrap like that because I know it is not coming off when it's wrapped like that. I don't have to worry about it coming open and the charm falling off. Can't always wrap them. Sometimes the wire is just too too strong but most of the time i can how cute now look two little cutie patootie teapots little teapot charms how cute is that okay so let's move on to another one something different this time okay so here's some beads that i have chosen 
to make a little dangle here. This is, uh, I think that was a bracelet maybe I took apart. I really honestly don't remember. It's been a long time. Little crystal. This is kind of a little smoky crystal. Um, very pretty, very pretty. I want to show you something. I bought these beads. They're um, glass, uh, kind of like pearls with a silver in it, but the two are stuck together. Now, I buy a lot of beads, and quite often, even the good beads, I will get some that are stuck together. Sometimes you can pull them apart just with your finger, but if you cannot, take a real tiny thin pair of nipper snippers, whatever you want to call them, and just, and just bump it and see. I, I figured that wouldn't work since I was trying to show you, <laughs> but it did. Okay. So you can just, you know, I used to set them aside and go, oh, I can't use those because they're stuck together, you know. Okay, so let's see what do we want to do. I've got a head pin here, but actually it's an eye pin I'm going to use. And the reason I'm going to use an eye pin instead of a head pin is because I want to be able to dangle something from that. All right, so this is my focal point, okay? That's going to be my focal point. So I have to build around it and decide what I want to do. So I'm thinking that I might go with a black. Now, some people lay everything out and design before they do anything. I've just never done that. I've always, for me, it just works better to kind of design as I go. If I don't like it, I take it apart. And that is a little bit larger than I wanted something there, but that's a little bit bigger than what I wanted. Let's try this guy. Put a little bead cap on him and dress him up. He's so cute. Okay, so then we're going to go with this piece. Ah, yes. And then I was thinking maybe the silver bead, and that would be a no. Okay, don't like that. All right, so let's try. You know what? I think what I really need is maybe a silver ball right in there. Let's see if that's silver ball. Yes, it is. Okay. Maybe a silver ball and then this guy. That's better, but I'm still not happy. Okay. Maybe I don't want you at all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, on top of here, I think I'm going to put a little crystal, but that's not it. Let me grab a crystal. I got these itty bitty bitty crystals and I, it's gonna have to have a um I use a lot of daisy spacers that's why I bought some more and I don't know why they're expensive it's just a little bitty silver spacer did you see that little daisy spacer and let's put the crystal on top Okay, now we're getting there. I'm starting to like it better. All right, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to bend that over. We're going to bring it back around, and it's pretty short, but I'm going to wrap what I can and try not to stab my finger with the end of the wire, which I have done so many times. All right, come on, you. There we go. Now I'm just using the pliers to wrap this around because it's so short and it's a pretty strong head pin. So, okay. Now, so we've got that put together and now we're going to dangle some things from the bottom. And that's where I was thinking this might come in. Um, and I might just take that as is. I was thinking I was going to take them apart, but I don't know. I might like them. All right, so these are on a giant jump ring. So I have to find the opening of that jump ring. And we're going to open it up, and we're going to take that off. We're gonna, hello! <laughs> we're going to leave this part on. But I'm not sure. I actually think, I think I'm going to take that big one off and just have these three. Now, this is where I will hook it to the eye pin of the first part that we made. And then I'm going to close that up. And there's what we've got so far. Cena, isn't that precious? Oh, I likey likey. That is so sweet. Okay. And I want something dangling in between here. Like here and here. I want to dangle. And I'll show you. Well, I was looking for some chain 
And I did find this. I was hoping to find something a little bit bigger because this is super, super tiny. But we are going to make it work. So I'm just going to cut off a little piece of that. And I'm going to take the tiniest little jump ring that I have. And I'm going to open that jump ring. And I'm going to see if that chain will go through there. Barely. <laughs> and I'm going to put this in between two of these guys. In between two of those um, black bicones. And then I'm going to close it. Ooh, it's hard to see sometimes. I like to make sure it's closed. Okay, so I've got a chain hanging down between two of those. I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to make them not the same size. So if they happen to be the same size, I'm going to cut one of them a little shorter. Because I don't want them to be exact. All right, so let's put this chain on the end of that little jump ring and this one's going to go in between the other two black bicones. Close and let's verify that it is closed good. Okay. All right. Here's what we got so far. So it's just just has these two little chains hanging in between. All right. And then I'm going to find something real tiny to dangle onto the ends. So I have decided just this little T90, there it is, crystal, is what I want to dangle from the end. It's that very, very tiny one. And if you have one inch head pins, this is the time to use them. That's something we hardly ever use. Now these head pins are super strong. So instead of wire wrapping these, I'm going to have to just cut them because if I try to wire wrap that, it'll bust that little crystal before I can get, get it done. So I just cut them and rolled that back, which I'm sure you guys know how to do that. Okay, now here's my two little dangles. So we're going to take our itty bittiest jump ring, which ain't really that small. It's just the smallest one in this set and I'm going to put a dangle on before I do that I am going I'm going to cut these down because I think they're a little too long so let's cut you there and let's cut you there so they're not that okay now I'm going to take that itty bitty bitty crystal dangle on its little jump ring and I'm going to put one on the very end Oh, no, you're not. You're going to drop it first. These are so tiny. It's all in the details for me. I'm a detail person. I know it. Guilty as charged. But I love the little bitty details, whether it's beading or journal making or whatever. I am all about the details. And I don't mind doing a lot of little bitty tiny work, although it is quite fiddly can be quite fiddly. <laughs> All right, let's put this one on. Okie dokie, we got it on. And now, how cute. I sure like it. All right, let me lay it out some. I want you to be able to see how it hangs. Come on, if it'll cooperate. <laughs> of course, if it's hanging up, it's going to hang prettier. I'm trying to show it to you flat. But when we're hanging it, it's actually going to be so cute. Okay, so now we're going to attach something to the top to hang it. Okay, so I've got a black bulb pin. It's kind of a shiny black. And I'm just going to put on, I think, some of these clear, kind of iridescent, clear looking beads. And then I, I put three. And then I put that on. And let's see, there's one. And there's two. And there's number three. You don't have to do this. Whoop, number three doesn't have a hole in it. Let's find another. 
that wants to play nice. There we go. Okay, now it's got something that you can attach it with. All right, so there's our little dangle. All right, guys, that's going to be all for now. I'm going to be making some more items, but it'll be on another video because I want to keep this one short. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.